Good morning, good afternoon, good evening wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Jasmine update. In the last couple of videos, we've been focusing on the spike of accumulation structure happening on the Jasmine price chart. We also talked about the price chart from a shorter time perspective in which we're looking at the symmetrical triangle happening at the very bottom right here. I was saying symmetrical triangles are continuation patterns and since we're going to the downside, the bias would be to continue to the downside. But I emphasize that I wasn't taking that stance at the moment because looking at the RSI, we had massive bullish divergence where the RSI was trending to the upside, house price was trending to the downside. So yeah, congratulations to everyone who was in this trade because we finally hit our price target right here and that was really nice to see, right? We also looked at the Jasmine price chart from a weekly time frame perspective and we have this structure right here. This is a very small component on the Jasmine price chart but with huge potential gains, right? Like really massive potential gains. Uh, to be made here so we compare this crashing structure to the crashing structure that uh, cardano had back then in 2018 from the all-time high you can kind of see that we crashed in the same manner that we had on the jasmine price chart and when you actually take a look at the volume profile you can see like they are really striking similarities look at this here you can see that whilst you're crashing like this there is virtually no volume here the volume just decreases and then all of a sudden it pops up when you have this hump in the price here and that's exactly the same thing that we have on the cardano price chart. obviously this is happening maybe like on a bigger magnitude but other than that uh it's basically the same thing we have the same structure on the ethereum price chart in the same time frame where you can kind of see that during the crash you have a very huge decline in the volume right here the problem pops up on this hump right here the same thing happening on the iota price chart you have the same thing right here the same crashing mode and then you have this hump right here then you continue sideways right we have the same crashing structure on the neo price chart back then in the same time period 2018 2017 right but then the question was where will this structure take us right when we investigated this effect i was here the neo price chart had a 702 retracement the iota price chart was the one with the least gains with a 0.3 h2 retracement level then Ethereum broke into all-time high, Cardano all-time high. So we deduce that here with the Jasmine price chart. For the worst case scenario, really, if we are to follow this structure here, the 0.382 retracement level is where we'll be headed, right? In the very worst case scenario. And that one on its own was the 20x from the measurements that we did in the other video. If you missed that video, you could go and actually watch it, right? In the best case scenario just according to this structure right here which i actually mentioned that is a very small component on the jasmine price chart you can actually look at it right here this is the whole structure on the jasmine price chart but this is just a very mini scale structure happening on the jasmine price chart and that one on its own is actually bringing those much of gains right so in the best case scenario we have more than 100 x of gains if we follow the cardano and the ethereum price chart right so in today's video we just want to solidify our bullish case here we're going to do that through the use of a couple of indicators right and then we'll call it a wrap for the week there won't be any video over the weekend barring any crazy price action in the market so before i do that i just want to ask you to delicately tap the like button it really helps with the youtube algorithm also if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to the channel because i do it here on jasmine on a regular basis so if that's your thing yeah feel free to subscribe to the channel so let's start here with what is happening in phase d where we're actually supposed to be breaking out of the trading range but we don't have something like that on the jasmine price chart the reason we actually talked about it in the last video you can actually have pullbacks like this one from the article we read from the previous videos you can actually have this kind of pullbacks and they actually term it as spring on steroids right so that's clear i hope the second thing we want to look at is the rsi you can see that whilst price is trending sideways or you could actually argue that it's going to the downside the relative strength index here is trending upwards indicating a very bullish divergence right here so in the immediate short term i'll be expecting continuation right here until at least the upper range you know of the trading range right here which is in percentage terms something like a 30 35 percent to 40 percent right in the coming weeks or something like that we'll be monitoring the situation very closely and then we also want to look at the macd because we actually had a bullish cross right there but before we do that let me actually go to the 12 hourly time frame and show you what uh, the bollinger bands are doing there so you can see that on the 12 hourly the bollinger bands are actually squeezing the price into an apex right here and we'll be expecting massive volatility to show up in the market in the coming weeks or so right by the way the price target i was mentioning about the top of the range is the 1.2 cents which is 0 0.012 they were about right we'll be expecting that in the coming few weeks now looking at the macd you can see that we had a bullish cross right here 
So things are looking pretty good for the Jasmine price chart. But obviously, I mean, this is not a guarantee. All the indicators in the world would line up to tell you that this is a buy and the price will do the exact opposite. So yeah, never consume this as financial advice. And then finally, by far, and the most important indicator, at least for me, is the EMA rebounds, right? Now, with the recent price section that we have had, it looks like we are trying to flip this thing into, into bullish mode, right? The last time we actually did that was uh, back then right here. Let me show you. I think it was October 2021. Yeah, exactly. In October 2021, we flipped it bullish. Uh, and then we had this pump right here. It was more than a 1,000% pump. It's going to be really nice in the coming few weeks if we manage to flip this EMA rebounds into bullish because, I mean, this is a very strong indicator. So, yeah, this is it for today. Actually, for this week, there won't be any video over the weekend unless there is crazy price action in the market, right? So, we'll wrap this week like this and see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.